Hi, this is Travis Campbell, and I'm so glad you decided to watch this video. I'm speaking to you from Cleveland, Ohio, with my friend Jim Durkin on the line. Jim, are you there? Yes, I'm here, Travis. Where are you calling in from, Jim? From Benville, New Jersey. Excellent. Well, Jim, what is it that you want to share with us today? We're looking at your desktop. Uh, what do you have to share? Well, what we're going to show today is our product, Contactless Plus for Axe. And right now, you're looking at Axe native contact list. Turn our product on uh, after the installation. It's on by default. We're going to turn it on here. And what you're seeing is an enhanced additional functionality view inside of Axe, holding the contact list. Interesting. That is quite different. And what uh, what are we looking at, actually? I see different colors and there's buttons along the top. Give us a brief overview of what we're looking at. Yeah. What we do is we add additional functionality and we place it on our toolbar at the top, which we'll go over in one minute. But we also have a color rules section and a data rules or a lookup query section. And the color rules are just that. That's why you're seeing the color on the screen. I accidentally dragged this off. I'll just drag it back. You're seeing the color rules on the screen based on the colors on the screen based on the rule. So these are actually, you can disable or enable them at any time. So let's get started with our toolbar at the moment. What we have at the top is common functionalities and additional features. So from here, I can just create new meetings and calls and to dos. But I can also, from this toolbar, put the list into edit mode. Now, our edit mode has been working since our initial product three years ago now. So we do edit mode in Act 2005, 2006, 2007, and the current version. So any version of Act, we are able to uh, have the edit mode. And that's a real important thing because the edit mode, quote, unquote, was in Act at Act 6. And then with Act 2005, they took it away. And they've since brought it back, but it's, it's not quite the same. Yeah, um, you know, we have a little different functionality. Which we don't do a couple of quirky things that they're doing in the current version about if it's in edit mode, you can't multi-select and things like that. That's still an issue with the current version of Act, and we don't have those issues. Nice. Okay, so let's continue down our toolbar. Uh, we, we do support, of course, tag mode, which is what we talked about, multi-selecting and doing tags. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a view called card view, which is more of an Outlook style kind of view. So we're doing a contact in card instead of row view. Traditional lists are really like this in a row view. Uh, we have our color rules, which we'll go over uh, in more detail later. We have our, our lookups, which are just that, our color rules down here, and then our lookup rules down here. So we can okay. pop a lookup one really quick. Uh, we also have uh, inline uh, filtering capabilities. Turning that on presents our filter, and I can actually go and say, I want all owners in here. And I can just tab through, and you can see it puts filtering in place immediately. Interesting. Great. Uh, we have, of course, our sorting order. What's also uh, unique with us is we have a grouping order. So everybody knows how to sort, sort A to Z, Z to A in the rows. But today I wanted to sort by the title. And we'll scroll down here, a lot of them with without titles. So we have this buyer section and we have a system, we have CEOs. But say I wanted to know how many buyers I have. I can course come along and create a group. I'm gonna say group by title. I'm just gonna title. I'll say okay to that. And now as we scroll around, what you're gonna see is the difference. So as you can see here, we have all the titles grouped together. So now I can go in and I can say, here's my buyer section, and there's the eight contacts that match that buyer. Excellent. And we have captains, and they're grouped together. So not only does it sort it, you know, gives it out that on the listing, but we also have a group and we have a count in between. Excellent. Okay, and then just to go down to some of the other columns, the other buttons, we have the ability to select any column, just the way ACT does. But what we have is the ability to save different column layouts. So say this is the layout that I have. Let me just go and clear off my grouping. That's the way I can clear it. Say 
say this is the layout I do all my cold calls with, and Travis, you have a layout that you want to do international calls with. So here I'm just going to select my international list, and I can come along and say on my international list, I don't want the address, I don't want city, I don't want state. Actually, I want my country code. So you would just design this a one-time thing, and we don't need zip code. All right, so we have our country code. And of course, you can see we have country code here. Now, again, that was Travis's layout. I want to come back in and put in my gym layout again. As you can see, I selected it. And then I'm back to my city state zip. So now I can toggle between layouts. Really powerful stuff. Excellent. So this, we'll finish up here with it. We have ability to export, just like Act does. But we have, again, some additional features in the export that aren't in Act. We have the ability to, of course, expand and collapse when we're in group mode. We do have some appearance settings, like do you like grid lines? Do you like record boxes? Uh, do you want to use the record navigator, which is right down here at the bottom? It's just, again, creature comforts. Some people like the record navigator. Some people just want the additional row. So we give everybody the option. Okay, one of the additional features we have is, of course, the data rules down here. And what it is is, is the same query system in Act. And what we do is we bring it forward to you in the user interface. So right now I'm looking at 199. And I want to do a lookup, but I have it saved. State starts with New York. Literally, all I have to do is put a check mark in here. And now it went and queried my database and shows me my 18 NIC. Wow, it actually, it actually totals the columns uh, that contain data. That's excellent. Right, right. We do have, so if that was a, a numeric column, it would give us a dollar value at the bottom. So, again, yeah, you're right. We're looking at 20. I misspoke. I said 18. There's 20, but there's 18 in this row because we have two blank phone numbers. So there's 18 values that total up at the bottom. Well, Jim, it sure looks like a great product. I appreciate you taking the time to give us some overview. Certainly, there's a lot more to the product that we'd like to share with folks. I appreciate you taking the time to share this overview with us. Oh, thank you for, uh, for calling. Now, Jim and I continued to review the product in depth, and in fact, we recorded nearly 30 minutes of extensive training. Now, I'd like to give that to you for free just by becoming a customer. You see the web link provided there? Yeah, it's just down below. Go ahead and visit that page. And after purchasing the product, you'll get instant access to the training. My name is Travis Campbell, and I look forward to speaking with you next time on the web.